Back in one part of the world, he was a rock star. In his home country, he lived in virtual poverty. Yeah, the singer dubbed Sugar Man is now in New Zealand. And if you haven't heard his amazing story yet, watch this from Heather Plissy Allen. <laughs> We'll get to the death thing in a minute, but first, you need to know that where I come from, South Africa, this man is a superstar. Okay. Your songs are the soundtrack of my youth. Oh, just, thanks. Just What's your name? Tell me Jackie. again. Jackie. 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 Okay, yes, Jackie. Cape Town. All right, Cape Town. Right. This seventy-year-old story is remarkable because while Jackie was growing up on his music, he was living in near poverty in Detroit, completely unaware of his fame in a country cut off by cultural and economic sanctions. We grew up with it. I wonder. I grew up on that kind of music. You remember him? Yes. I knew him more than I knew the Rolling Stones. <laughs> you heard right. There, he's bigger than the Stones. I grew up listening to your music in South Africa, right? Okay. What does it feel like to suddenly realise you've actually impacted so many people's oh. lives? Well, I didn't believe that either. Uh, you know, it, um, and it took to, the, you know, going to South Africa to convince me that there was such a thing, you know. And, and I thought I was going to be uh, playing to third world disgruntles, you know, and he was uh, Afrikaans, you know, so it was... Are you calling me a third world disgruntled? <laughs> you know, and that kind of, I thought that was, was going to be my audience, you know. No, uh, it's just that the, uh, well, they started it all. I, I owe uh, a lot to some of that. And this is why. This is footage from a documentary about the man's remarkable rock resurrection. Living in Detroit, Sixto Rodriguez cut two records around 1970. They were a flop in the United States, but across the water in South Africa, a massive hit. Everyone thought he was dead, that he'd killed himself halfway through a song on stage. But in the 90s, two South Africans tried to find out about their dead rock hero, only to find him alive doing manual labor. They took him home, when he stepped on stage, the crowd wouldn't stop cheering. Yeah, exhilarating. It was a sense of triumph. Thanks for keeping me alive. That was 1998. For nearly 30 years, Rodriguez hadn't seen a cent from the royalties of his record sales. No one knows where the money went. I went to the record store yesterday and bought two CDs. Are you getting the money for that? Yes, now, uh, through Sony. So how has the money changed your life? I refer to it as oxygen. Everybody needs a little oxygen. Everybody's fascinated by the story in the documentary mm -hmm. about where the money went. Why didn't oh. you get your money? Uh, Are you going to try and chase it now? Yeah, I do want to. Yeah, I, d I think for the purpose of... Uh, it would clear it up for everyone, and that would be great. If you did manage to get the money, what would you do with it? I, I think I could use it uh, uh, wisely. Sugar Man. The film about his resurrection, oh, Searching Sugar for Sugar Man, has just won Best Documentary at the Oscars. When you walk down the street, uh -huh. do you get recognised now? Yeah, I do. Rodriguez is playing two shows this weekend. Thank you so much, he may be 70, a little unsteady on his feet and struggling to see, but we eavesdropped on his rehearsal. <laughs> he sounds great. Bigger than the Rolling Stones. That's a heck of yeah, a plane, isn't it? Yeah, and you can see that Heather was genuinely excited yeah. to meet him.